Hi, I'm Will, and I'm a Southern California native. I live with my partner, Steve. I arrived to Los Angeles back in the 80s by way of Montreal and Toronto. We both have traveled the world, and we are now exploring our own backyard, finding places that we never knew existed. We are taking hikes to stretch our legs, and along the way we're discovering historical landmarks of interest that we hope you'll enjoy. Our channel is a way to capture these moments that we share together, and we invite you to follow along in our adventures. This is Steve. William and I thank you for watching our exploration videos. I first visited the Angeles National Forest area back in the 1980s. In those days, there were far fewer visitors to these parts. Today's destination for William and I will be the famous Mount Wilson Observatory. Here there are also many broadcast antennas that serve the greater Los Angeles area. William and I have taken many camp trips up to Chileo, to Little Pines, and Manzanita areas of the campgrounds, as well as a hike to the Veter Mountain Fire Lookout site, where we fortunately never ran into any bears or mountain lions of which there is a considerable population. I have taken many motorcycle rides up Highway 2, which has wonderfully gentle curves, but no winter rides because there is snow. Amazing views of the mountain ranges can be had when you travel up this way. We've taken many barbecues and picnics into the area, but today, due to fire risk, none of it is permitted. No fires, no barbecues. Down there, it looks like some kind of... Because what reservoir is that over there? And all that mm -hmm. I area. Now. I don't know. Nineteen oh four, that's pretty impressive when they started this observatory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a hundred and one, a hundred and two, a hundred and three. <laughs> right behind me is a 150 foot solar telescope. It was the world's largest from 1912 to 1962. The size of that. That's quite impressive. This site is still very popular with tourists. I feel so very scientific. I don't know about you. Well, I know you love science. So do I. Yeah. And um, what's nice about here is they really are maintaining the observatory because it looks like a fresh coat of paint. It's so almost blinding white. Yeah. Very pretty. It's a beautiful view. It is a beautiful view. Huh? Oh, a little puppy. He's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for distracting you. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How old are you? Five months and look at the size of those paws. No. Yes, you're gonna be a big uh -oh. one. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Well, enjoy your walk. <laughs> All right, I'm tired. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Behind me is a 60-inch telescope that was first put into operation in 1908. The historical value about this is just not how old this telescope is, but it was helped to determine our position in the Milky Way. I'm not sure how much um, we could get with this because of the glare since there is glass here, um, 
But here is our Milky Way, our galaxy. And because of this 60-inch uh, telescope, the scientists were able to pinpoint our position in the galaxy with our solar system being right there. In 1931, the Mount Wilson Observatory was honored with a distinguished guest as Albert Einstein was here to have a conference with Edward Hubble because Mr. Hubble was able from here to help confirm his theory that the universe was still expanding. Many people around the world probably just think of Los Angeles as Hollywood and where film is made, but the Mount Wilson Observatory contributed many scientific findings uh, along its, its history. This observatory was founded in 1908, and the history that we do have here, Mount Wilson itself, a prominent Wilson family in the Pasadena area, Mr. Wilson, his grandson, will grow up to be one of America's greatest generals during the Second World War, who happened to be George Patton. So the observatory is ideal for its location. As strange as it sounds, but apparently the mountain areas around the San Gabriels and the basins of Los Angeles that help keep the smog in also creates a phenomena that creates one of the stillest air in North America, helping these astronomers to do their research. Southern California, California in general, is prone to a lot of wildfires. The world gasped because we almost lost this observatory to the Bobcat fire that came within 100 feet of losing this observatory. Thankfully, for the good efforts of our fire department, was saved. Polishing stone for the mirrors seems pretty rough to me. I don't think I need to be that polished. <laughs> 